Okay, so this video is about inverse trigonometric functions. Now, they are the inverses of sine, cosine, and tangent. And they are found on your calculator in exactly the same place, but they're going to be in yellow above them. So what that means is we need to use the shift button. Now, this video is just going to be about using your calculator. It's going to get you used to f using it to find those buttons and what you have to type in to get them. So, what I'm going to say is that here, sin of x equals 0 0.8. Now, I, know, I want to know what x is. So, sine is a function, and to find x, I need to do the inverse of this function. So, to find it on your calculator, you have to press shift, and then you have to press the sine button, and that will get you, say here, sin to the minus 1. So, I'm going to do the inverse sine of 0 0.8. If I place that in my calculator, it will tell me the answer. I'm going to write that to two decimal places, 53.13. So as I said, in this video, I'm not going to be talking about how we get to this point. I'm just going to get you used to using your calculator to find out what x is. So this is used to find angles. So my angle x here is 53.13. Here, I've got cos of x, so I need to find the inverse of cos. Again, I press shift to get to the yellow buttons, and it's above the cos, so I just press shift cos. Again, it's going to be of 0 0.3, and that gives me 72.54. To two decimal places. So in this situation, my angle x would be 72.54. And you can also do inverse function of tangent. Again, shift tan of 2.1, and that equals 64.53. To two decimal places. Now, not only decimals, you can also use this with fractions using your calculator. So, this time x would be inverse sine, so shift sine of two thirds. So, I just press the fraction button and I can type in two thirds. Be very careful with where you put the end of your bracket, obviously. And then that equals 41.81 to two decimal places. And exactly the same with all of the other trigonometric functions. Anytime I want to find the inverse of I just press shift, cos, again, fraction, 8 over 11, equals, so x equals 43.34. Exactly the same with tangent. Shift, tan, 8 over 5 this time. And then x would be equal to 57.99 to two decimal places. Now, in the next lesson, we will be using Sokotoa and trigonometry to find angles in right angle triangles. But what you're going to practice before that lesson is using your calculator, just like I did in that video. So here are the five questions that I would like you to do before the next lesson, please.